um, one. Well, about um, it's been a very unusual build up. Their their players have been quite public in what they want to get out of this and take you a bit of bad blood out of the World Cup. They're very trained, they haven't beaten you. Raji's been on Twitter trying to name your team, things like that. Has that impacted you guys in any way? Is it, have you found it unusual at all? Um, I haven't found it unusual. I think uh, if we'd won the World Cup, we'd probably end up getting asked to go on a few podcasts as well. <laughs> no one wants us to go on it. So it is what it is, you know. Uh, I, I, I come across bits and pieces of it. We haven't spoken about it a lot. Um, we never tend to do around this kind of uh, around this kind of thing. It tends to become a, a reaction. I think, you know, if you're a head coach, as long as Razzy is, you probably end up, you have to figure out a way to enjoy doing the media stuff and he seems to enjoy it and, he, and he's good at it. So we haven't paid a lot of attention to it. Um, you played in one of the most intense, greatest games ever played in the stadium a long time ago. It's certainly a bad memory, but like, <laughs> would you lean on that experience at all to prepare the players for what's coming? Because the team has up for it, the fans are going to be as up for it. It is quite a unique venue. Um, but I, I, we wouldn't really lean on, on that experience, no. We'd lean on past experiences ourselves because, you know, we're always trying to evolve. We're always trying to get better. We're always trying to, you know, learn from the past so that it can help us go forward. And, uh, um, you know, I think... Uh, I wouldn't say it's not relevant. You know, you know, you know what the, the place is going to be like. It's it's a fantastic stadium. It has a brilliant tradition of 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 rugby. Their fans absolutely love it. They love playing a part in the game. So, um, you know, you have to be aware of that. Uh, but for us, it's 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 about focusing on ourselves as much as possible. And when we do that, we tend to we tend to do all right. You know, I think when teams become distracted by the noise outside. Um, it becomes exactly that, a distraction. So we're just trying to steer clear of it. Last time you came into an international window, everyone was tipping France to win that game. You guys came in quiet, delivered a statement performance. Does that give you comfort that you can do the same again, despite the fact that the players have suffered some disappointment recently and all that sort of stuff? Um, yeah, I think, you know, I was saying about South Africa, the fact that they, you know, continuity is always a, a big helper, and we, we 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 have that. You know, we've certainly there's some players that aren't here that would be, uh, you know, important part of what we do. But you have a continuity of coaching, you have a continuity of 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 leadership within the group, um, continuity of ideas. You're trying to evolve them for sure, but you know, it is a real challenge in international rugby is trying to come in and trying to perform well with uh, a relatively small preparation window. You know, in the Six Nations, four or five weeks in, you should know what you're about for sure. But it is a real challenge coming in, especially when you get the players after playing in Europe on a Saturday or Sunday, you get them on a Monday morning and you're, you know, you're conscious of how much information you put into them. But the continuity certainly helps us and uh, it's helped us start quite well in, in, in recent times. Yeah, it's a very established squad, but you've got one very talented new forward in, in, in there with Cormac. Can you just tell us what, how he's kind of gone, how he's kind of earned his place in here and kind of what, what can you hope to get out of him? Yeah, well, we, we had him on the Emergent Tour and, uh, you know, he's a real good specimen, really eager. Uh, young fella, hung, hungry to learn, and in fairness to Richie and Ulster, they just backed him towards the end of the season. And I think we found that on the emergent tour, you know, there's a lot of players there that, when they get their chance, they're they're more than capable of delivering. So, um, you know, he's he's a he's a fantastic specimen. He's he's a big, uh, heavy man, but he moves really quick. He accelerates really well, and uh, you know, I. I think it's so important now for an international forward to be able to move well and accelerate, you know, whether it's whether it's a breakdown, whether it's a kick chase, whether it's you know, a little half a half gap you get on a on a on a on a small little pass and, and, and it gets you through the hole, it really can make the difference. So anytime you have an athlete like that who is you know, then on top of it is a great trainer, a good guy, willing to learn, eager, um, it's a it's it's a great opportunity for us, and you know, for him to come along here, um, train with us, uh, you know, try and force his way into the side, see how some of the 
older guys who've been doing it a long time see how they prepare it's it's brilliant for him and because you know he has it he has the uh, you know he has the football and he has the the work ethic to be able to look at what they're doing copy paste it copy paste and edit it and, and add it to his game thanks John uh, knowing Jerry Flannery as well as you do what do you expect from him personality wise you know that he'll bring to the Springboks and uh, the dimension that he allows just as from the person as much as the coach yeah, I think he'll 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 love it. He'll love the opportunity to work with the Springboks and and to to to, to work with Razzie again, um, to work with with quality players who are unbelievably eager that that want to make it work, that want to make your plan work. Um, um, you know, I would say it doesn't matter where he works. He'd love coaching. He'd love trying to bring an energy and an enthusiasm to how a team defends and how a team plays the game. Um, and I think, you know, I, you know, I, I haven't seen him coaching a lot. I'm sure he's a great coach, but I'm sure the the energy he brings to it would 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 be half the job done, you know. And and the integrity he'd bring to it, and the kind of honesty of of of, of effort he'd bring to it. So, um, you know, he's he's a he's, you know, he's a brilliant guy, and I'd say it, it comes true in his coaching, and he'll be a brilliant addition to South Africa. Do you get a, a sense in weeks like this, say when you were going down to New Zealand uh, that week, the week of the first test, that the team is coming together, that you just get a sense that it's tight, it's good, training's good, there's a feeling within the camp? Yeah, yeah I find my senses for that is generally off, you know. <laughs> when I think it's bad, it's good, and when, it's, when I think it's good, it's bad. Um, you know, you just, uh, you just got to... You just got to keep doing the job as well as you can. Keep chatting to the coaches, keep chatting to the players, and trying to get a feel for, for when you need to step in or step back. And uh, you know, as a young coach, it's 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 a hard thing to figure out. So you, you kind of lean on Andy a bit, but um, but uh, you know, it's it's I, I like I like the way the players prepare at the moment. You know, uh, we've continuity in what we do, and I, I like how they how they figure things out themselves. They're never they're never overly coach led these guys they, they figure a lot of the stuff out themselves um, so sometimes the feeling you might have as a coach is kind of irrelevant they're the ones that are really figuring it out um, with Rossi picking a very similar side to the final in the World Cup and all of those World Cup players in that team for this weekend are you expecting something similar for the Springboks or do you think he's got another arrow in his quiver, he's got new coaches around him? Compared well, to that game, what do you expect from them? Well, it, it was it was, um, it was was a little bit different last week. You know, you saw some of the stuff that maybe Tony Brown had been doing with Japan. You saw South Africa doing that last week. They probably played a little bit more. Um, and I would say, you know, South Africa always have the ability to you know, dial up what they were doing maybe three or four years ago or or or, or dial it down. So uh, that's what you have to prepare for them. You know, he, he, you know, Razzie played a certain way in Munster when he was there. He played a certain way in South Africa when he took him over at the start. And they probably evolved that over the last few years. And Tony Brown is probably a big part of evolving it again. So I would say they've... You know, they probably have a few ways of playing and they can dial them up and dial them down based on on, on what they feel for any particular day. And, um, you know, we have to, we probably have to expect a whole number of things against them. But, you know, I think they have a real good identity. They're probably trying to evolve that with uh, with Tony Brown and trying to add a few little bit of, few layers to it. But, you know, I can't see them moving massively away from what they stand for. The stadium is, is known for um, the ball that flies. Uh, there's not a lot of wind, hardly ever. Um, so it's, it's good temperatures. Um, do you expect them to use that to their advantage and maybe play a more of a kicking game than they normally do? Uh, I don't know is the honest answer. I, I, th I think with the, the length the ball goes, with the temperatures, you know, you'd be mad not to kick. Um, you know, at least as much as you were, or, or a little bit more. Um, um, so, you know, I know the Bulls kick quite a lot when they play. They, they, they made a real good job of it when they were were, were playing um, against Leinster the other week. They probably kicked a little bit more for, 
kick more often and for a little bit more distance than they normally did. So, um, you know, you've you got to be aware of what might happen, but expect anything. That's it. That winning the Six Nations helped to put the World Cup heartbreak behind you, and it's ever possible to recover from that. Uh, yeah, you recover from it. You just got to move on to the next thing, you know. Um, um, you know, we'd, we'd love to have done better in the World Cup, but we came up across, uh, across a really good side um, that played really well, particularly at the start of the game. We gave ourselves a big mountain to climb. We climbed most of it, uh, but just didn't get the last bit there. Um, but then it's just on to the next next competition. And, you know, we had a bit of a, a turnover players, Johnny in particular, moving on. So to, we'd love to have won the Grand Slam. We, we could have done it. We mightn't have deserved to won it, have won it, but we could have done it. But going on to win the Six Nations, especially with a little bit of a turnover in the team, um, was excellent. But, uh, you know, I, it's funny how the game goes. You know, the, the boys really celebrate and really enjoy any victory they have, they have with, any te- with any team. But you've got to move on quickly then. And the next thing becomes the biggest, most important thing ever. So... You know, we've never won a test series in in South Africa. I think as an Irish team, we've only ever won one game down here. So, um, you know, this is a brilliant place for this team to be now. Sorry, uh, last question here. I need to get Paul outside. Oh, Lord. Well, sorry, just, uh, is, uh, a lot will be made of Jerry being in the Springbok camp, but the fact that so many of your players are coached by Jack Nienaber and have learned the system that he built that we was able to get, does that... Help it at all that they know a little bit more about what's what they're facing. Um, I think it, it it helps our players in that, you know. That I think one of the things that I, I I noticed for us is the better the coaching is in the provinces, the better the players are coming into us. You know, uh, and uh, you know they, they've added another layer to how they defend and how they think about the game in the last year with Jack, and that's been a brilliant addition to them and. You know, he's been very forthcoming with the information around, you know, he's all in with them, which is which is brilliant. He's been very forthcoming about the information around what they did and, and how they did it. Um, and our boys share a little bit of that with us. Um, some of it is helpful to us. Some of it is, you know, can be a bit of a distraction because we've got to focus on what's important to us, you know, because, you know, I, I remember back in the day, you know, we used to spend a lot of time on opposition teams, um, and it can be a distraction because you've got to get you've got to get right what you're doing right, and uh, we struck that balance right in recent years, um, and it's important we continue with that. Thanks, Paul. Okay. Cheers.